if one of your fellow carriers were to ask you for advice about um, business insurance and, you know, different tactics, uh, what advice would you guys give? Um, one of the advice um, that I had to deal with and I would pass on to make sure that customer um, customers approve the insurance carrier, because sometimes customers don't want to take that insurance carrier. So you have to look closely to that. Right. Great. Thank you. I would tell them, don't stop looking. If you, if you're not happy with your insurance carrier and your broker is um, making you feel like they're holding your hostage. Um, if they're giving you any kind of hard time at all, there's probably a reason and you need to keep pushing to get what you want. As I've learned, I just moved from uh, New York to Florida and getting an agent that knew what total loss was and all that stuff, diminished value, it's been really, really difficult to find. And, um, you know, I'm just signing up with a uh, Highland, but, but they understand what we're doing and what we're going through. And, and they let me run my business is what it sounds like they're going to let me do instead of the insurance company running my business. They're kind of letting me run it, which is something I haven't experienced in a couple three years. That's awesome. That is very, that's very interesting because uh, my experience is very similar. I started off with just a, a local uh, state farm uh, type of uh, insurance company that sold me a commercial policy. And then uh, the next year or so, they, I worked with them and they did you know, their best they could. But when I asked them specific questions about my industry, they didn't really have an idea. So I found a company that did trucking and now I'm actually uh, tied in with a company that does just does auto hauling as a specialty. So that's, that really helps me out to make sure that I'm, I'm fully protected. 